Okay. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Oh god, I forgot we have to go into this case. Like, right now. Oh, I know nothing. Oh, it went great! There's still a lot of gray areas. Remember, the whole thing is one big gray area. You didn't have to say it out loud. No worry about me, no matter what the outcome. Easy to say. Alright, to accept my fate. For fuck's sake. I believe in you, sis. So, right. Let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? Defense attorney should never believe their client. You know, you used to remind me a lot. You're actually her complete opposite. The defendant is called to the trial because they were suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Sky, you... You remind me a lot of Mia. There is one decisive difference between you. Wow, same brain. And that is? Not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. Oh god, I cannot summon ghost help this time. I'm actually on my own for the first time, oh god. That was gonna bail me out this time. Yeah. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. It's your job, come on. Gotta be independent Let's do it, Mr. Ray. I'll be with you the whole way. Yeah, I'm not alone, am I? Yeah, Emma's there for what good she's gonna do. I have another weird little girl following me around. Good enough. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. of Mr. Damn. Christ, I'm sorry. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office. Lord. Wow, he's much more first forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. What crimes have you done, Emma? Oh, I've stolen about a million dollars from the CIA. That's all right. Everyone does that once in a while. <laughs> However, she <laughs> However, she will now pay for the rashness with her life. Is she getting the death penalty? <laughs> Excuse me? There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Excuse me? Well then, call your foot. Oh, blah, blah. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution called its first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The cough-up queen? She's wearing that little hat that she's wearing that hat even in the court. Mm -hmm. Haven't I seen you somewhere? So she does have history. 
Oh, you ordered the caviar lunch, right? <laughs> oh, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. Your Honor, the judge, he's just eating it in the middle of the trial. All right. Ah, and for you, I have a fiesta ball. Uh, thanks. Well, the witness state her name and profession. Ah, uh, and you, sir? Did you order the fingerprints lunchbox? Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. Why is what caviar would taste like pickled tapioca? What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Name, profession, now. Me? The angel. Name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Hurry it up! Oh my god. Uh. Mm. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of a crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Uh, huh? What exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Star was a special investigator with the police. What happened two years ago? Everyone's like, two years ago, this fucking shit happened. This is... Why does this always happen? She was a first-rate homicide detective. What? Mrs. Star was a detective? Hmm. Ha uh ha! -huh. I know who you are. Cough up. Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Note, long time no see. Very well, you may continue with your description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. Hmm. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. The chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that keeps the visit- I've been with that. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's truck. Damn, I suppose I'm not getting my question answered. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I will just go on with my testimony as if I did not hear you. The killer stabbed Aww. the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Take a guess, Your Honor. I am standing here. Why, it was me, Your Honor. Oh, I know. I would have guessed. I thought it was Edward. <laughs> witness, did you see the very moment of a crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. This seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Whoa, are they talking about me? This seems unfairly I'm, biased. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. If I don't side with her, she'll kick my balls off. Damn. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. Real suspicious to say that on the witness stand, ma'am. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. I sensed something. Perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition after all. Oh, shit. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief 
prosecutor standing next to a garish cop. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the point tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Twitter record is garish, not garish. I don't know English, excuse me. Hmm. Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend, how touching. As you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than... Point of a knife, which you saw being stabbed at a Detective Goodman. Real funny, Your Honor. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I... I'm still thinking about all that. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Uh, can never do Very that well, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may stop bandaging up your flesh wound. I mean, cross examine <laughs> the witness. Yes, sir. Let's see. Oh, by the way, how much is that caveat going to cost, Angel? Yeah, like, is she... How is she... Um, how the fuck is she... How the fuck is she She just gives that? it for free. She just gives it for free, I guess. Fuck it, you know? How did you know? Question. I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. But the methods are ugly and twisted. Something happened that I'm not getting. Where's the war? Twisted methods will always leave. Ooh. Burn! Given that they are used to erase some inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing a detective and use you much is merely an extension of that. You have some grudge. Miss Star, do you have something personal against prosecutors? Clearly, would you like to elaborate on that? Very well, you may continue, Miss Star. Huh. Okay. Look at all of the- everything she says is suspicious. I'm just gonna start facing everything. This boyfriend, he's the detective? Not my boyfriend, the security guard. Ma'am? <laughs> That boyfriend? You have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? And yet another boyfriend is still open for applicants. Uh, 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 I will stick with the lunches, thanks. <laughs> Notice, though, the judge had to think before replying. She was in B-Block when she witnessed the crime. Yeah, what the fuck do you mean by that? Uh, I don't really feel like that's where it's crime from. You said something? So you're saying you had a premonition of murder? I felt like, how would you say? Oh yes, it was like the feeling you get when you feel a pumpkin full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. 
Okay. No, seriously. What the fuck is a what the fuck is a pumpkin chalk full of seeds? What does that mean? Yeah, I. What the fuck? Wasn't the victim Mr. Bruce anyway. also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. What the fuck you mean by that? I, young cheese, ma'am. Okay, you know anything else in food metaphors? Yeah, this man, this woman, and the fucking cowboy really just speak in riddles, don't they? Hmm. They must be hard, yellowed, and sharp as a tack. Yeah, with the order of an old cheese. Yeah, with the order of an old cheese to match. In any case, there in the lot, I found something staring in the back of my mind. Yes, I think that's enough about cheese for one night. What the fuck did I press that? The only thing she talked about it was cheese. <laughs> This woman is something special, alright? You already know which car. <laughs> Only it's fucking car. Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. M Mr. Edgeworth? Incidentally, in it might which the victim was down was also Mr. Edgeworth's. Wasn't it? Oh, well, I love I the from the back. Hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you feel sure it was a defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. She's telling the truth, too. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Now you're starting to remind me of you. Witness! You might want to pursue the opinions to yourself in the future, Rocky. Huh? Rocky? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Hm. I'll fry like a feather, crispy on the outside, chilly on the inside. That, that was inspiring. She just threatened to perhaps cannibalize me, Your Honor. On. Come on. You alright? Phone! Fucking flip sideways! It's easier for me to read that way, you fuck! Oh, okay. yeah, I Sorry. Yeah, I'm on my phone right now, I apologize. It's fine. I believe I've heard the tagline elsewhere? You could cry pra- you, you could cry plagiarism. I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh. What? Oh. A photograph? You took this? Come here, we forget to do it for us. The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap, I took a picture. Somehow I don't believe that. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. What the fuck? Suppose that's more exciting than just hanging out about your neck. With this, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Jesus. My boyfriend works in the photography of the of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Is unmistakably on a sky. So, what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her brain. That's weirdly specific. Alright. And something could. something you could press. Tell me more about this knife. Blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edward? It is your knife, after all. Uh, 
Not that, the other one? Yeah, this is... Wait, I'm Yeah, that? Gonna... Yeah. Wait a fucking second. Um... I'm gonna look at the photo and everything we have so far. Yeah, you might wanna... Hmm. So, she's wearing a jacket. She's also wearing gloves, yeah. if you notice. So, even if you pressed the knife right now as evidence, I think it would only work for a split second, but I think that's what that- I think that's what the game wants you to do. Because it, she does say she's holding it with her right hand, and you could say, hold it, yeah, there's no prints, and then she's gonna be like, there's not- there, there's no way, to be because fair, in the she, photo, she was she's wearing also gloves. opening yeah. the trunk with her left hand. Which is kind of weird. Wait, what's the photo again? Yeah, in the photo, she's she's holding it with her left hand, right? This is good enough. Yeah. And you witnessed this? You saw Miss Scar stab the victim with the knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear on my finest salmon for a lunch. Ma'am, this is no time for advertisement. Mm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. Your Honor, please. But... Isn't that odd? Look at this fo- <laughs> Again, Look at this photograph. photograph! This is the photograph oh, you took me <laughs> Obligatory joke. This is the photograph you took to. of the very moment of the crime, is it not? And why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Oh, that was the part of it. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, for some fucking reason, I thought it switched to Edgeworth. My brain is malfunctioning. It's fine. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. Had, had to be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. Yet he was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. Come on, man. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection! A and how can you tell that? Phoenix. Buddy. Blood spider. Phoenix. Come on. See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? Some black and white photograph. Still, there are context clues. Ah, uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Yeah, it could be. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem except you. Mr. Wright, are you just going to sit there and take that kind of abuse? I mean, are you into that? Are you into that, Phoenix? Is that a thing you're into? Shush. Don't ask questions. Uh, you got a better idea? Fucking... Objection! Object, I guess! Fucking... Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. I not believe that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. That is true, she fucking said it. Well, it seems I'm a slightly unclear. My apologies. Oh, 
that's it. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. You're in court, ma'am. Please be more precise. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo sized lunch from the get go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understood it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating, like a robot. She killed without paying or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection! But it, how do you how do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, if it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yes, sorry. These gloves do seem to tell the tale of premeditation. Sorry, I'm drinking tea. Premeditated murder, a serious offense. Witness, add to steal testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Can I just press this, I guess? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Meditated crime. Uh. Impressive. I'm sorry if it took you off the force, Mr. Star. Please stop simping, Your Honor. This is bad. She's got the big one so planned. She can prove this plan which was already over. I forgot to think of a way I could show this wasn't connected. It's only a flesh room, Mr. Wright. We can make it. Why do you stop? Why do you want me to stop saying flesh room? It's just a word. I have a very specific association with that. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Mrs. Starr's testimony is flawless. God damn it. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Be the one with common sense. I like that. 